In Ukraine, there's a new kind of drone warfare taking shape, one that doesn't require a pilot for every craft. That's because Ukrainian forces are now flying semi-autonomous drones that talk to each other in the air, coordinating the moment of attack without a human in the loop. It's the first reported routine use of swarm technology in combat, something militaries around the world have been chasing for years. The system was developed by the Ukrainian company Swarmer and links the drones once launched. A scout drone charts the path while others carrying bombs decide which of them will strike. A Ukrainian officer told the Wall Street Journal his unit used the system more than 100 times in the past year, often with three drones, but tests have gone as high as 25. Without the software, each drone would need its own operator. Now, one person manages a swarm, saving time and manpower. Swarming is defined as the fusion of AI and drones. Small groups could grow into formations of dozens or hundreds, able to overwhelm defenses and adapt in real time. It's not perfect, early missions overloaded networks, and the cost remains steep. But the advantage is clear. Drones that communicate directly are harder to jam and therefore harder to counter. Other countries are racing to acquire the technology too. The US, China, Israel, and Russia are all testing their own drone swarms. The rise of AI in combat is also sparking debate. The United Nations wants rules for so-called killer robots, and US policy requires a human to approve any strike. Swarmer says the same is true in Ukraine. Instead of humans having to press the attack button each time though, what's called being in the loop, the human operator more or less manages the action from above, what's known as being on the loop. For more of our unbiased straight fact reporting like this, download the Straight Arrow News app today.